Hey guys, YC here. Now, I know it's been a long time. In fact, it has been two years since I last uploaded my videos. Well, I have some good news, which is I have already graduated with my biomedical science degree. But the bad news is, well, you know, graduating sucks, right? Um, it's just like finishing high school all over again, but instead of choosing which university or college you're trying to go to, this time you're planning, you know, your future, your career and whatnot, and it's very stressful. And today I'm just going to sit down and share with you what my life is like two years now after my graduation and you know what major decisions I've made, what am I doing now and if I ever regretted any of my decisions to study biomedical science. Hopefully with all of this information you can get more insights into what a biomedical science graduate can venture into for your future and also this is one of the most frequently asked questions as well so I hope that it helps you and honestly it just reminds me of myself back then when I was applying for UPU I can feel how anxious you are when you're trying to you know know more about what biomedical science is about you know you're trying to reach out to people to know more about their life uh, about studying biomed and also the career opportunities and so on and so forth so hopefully today you'll get more insights into my journey after graduation my plan moving forward and then you can also decide on your own whether if this journey would fit you as well now just as a disclaimer it's been quite a while since the last time i made a video like this so you can see that things have changed and i don't have any more you know fancy setup or editing because i don't have the time for it it's just going to be me going through some of my points here and sharing them with you i still feel like it's necessary for me to share all of these experiences i have to help those of you out there because like i mentioned i was like all of you once i had no elder siblings to advise or even guide me through this academic journey or progression so i had to navigate my way through a lot of uncertainties you know uh, trying to figure things out the hard way by asking people around or just even experimenting on my own so if whatever I share today could even help just one of you out there to make a much more informed decision about your future, I'd be happy enough, right? All I ask for you is to help me like this video if it helps you so that you can reach more people out there or more students that are trying to look for all of these answers. So right after finishing my um, finals for my biomedical science degree, I straight up went to apply for an internship position at a pharmaceutical company called Winwa Medical. And it's back in my hometown, Penang. It's not a big company, I would say, but it's well established enough for you to learn a thing or two. And I applied for this um, internship way before my convocation, which is back in July. And just putting it out there, you don't really need to wait until you get your you know, graduation certificate or academic transcript to apply for jobs. You can just do it um, whenever you want to. So if you want to apply to go for work immediately after finishing your finals, by all means, go ahead. And it's also totally fine if you want to take some time off, you know, go for a vacation or anything, as you know, that might be your very last chill time before heading into the year you know workforce so you just follow your own pace i went for this internship because when i was applying for it the opportunity just fitted nicely into my schedule so yeah why not now there's a lot i want to share about this internship itself you know my experience there what i've learned what positions i went into but before that we really need to talk about something quite critical and serious about you know um's biomedical science degree the program itself because it's also the reason why I had to do this internship after my graduation and not during my you know bachelor's degree itself. I future wisely here. So while filming and editing, I think that this internship part right here is just too elaborate and probably deserves to be you know discussed in a separate video. So just a summarized version of it, this internship was not part of our course and it was on my own initiative because of the weird structure of our program. Now I'll share about the details in the future, but this internship itself is actually considered an important milestone and also a great opportunity for me and it might be for you as well if you're considering you know, working in the industry or something like a pharmaceutical company and whatnot. I think it's beneficial as it gives you a real taste of what working in the industry is like, which is going to be very different from you know, what we typically learn in university. It is also a fantastic networking opportunity as well as you'll be meeting a lot of different professionals in the field. But most importantly, I think students usually can use these internship opportunities for them to secure their future jobs. 
because most companies would prefer hiring interns that they have already trained or evaluated before and this would help you save a lot of stress of job hunting later in the future after you have graduated right in fact they did offer me a permanent job position after my internship but i had to move on to my next stage in life which i'll share right now So in the middle of my internship itself, my supervisor back then from my you know final year project um, when I was still doing my bachelor's degree in biomedical science, um, she contacted me and also offered me a PhD position. Um, this is a fast track PhD where I could skip you know masters as I got a CGPA of over 3.7. So this could be a reason for you to try and improve your grades or you know your results if you're thinking of doing a fast track PhD. But don't worry if you don't get the fast track program because everyone has their own pace, right? And actually, I didn't even accept this fast track PhD offer in the end and only went for a master's program. And you must be thinking, wow, what an idiot. But yeah, yeah, I have my reasons. So the reason why is that the PhD program that was offered by my supervisor back then um, was some molecular work, you know, some project about molecular science and stuff. And I can't recall exactly what the project is about, but what's clear is that the PhD program was not in the direction that I wanted to pursue or go for because at that time I was already fixated on the path where I wanted to pick up some bioinformatics skills. And if you're not familiar with this term bioinformatics, to put it simply, it's just the application of um, computer technology to capture and interpret biological data meaning that I'll be using some computer skills like programming, uh, machine learning and whatnot to help solve some biological related or healthcare related problems. So I told my supervisor about this decision and I turned down her first PhD offer. But then surprisingly, she had another project on her hands and it was related to uh, artificial intelligence AI. And I was like, um, what? Because uh, my supervisor back then was from an orthopedics background so I didn't know how she got or why did she have such um, a bioinformatic based program or project so I asked for more details about it and turns out it's a collaboration with a lecturer from bioinformatics and the project quite aligns with the direction that I wanted to go to because I have to learn about you know programming Python programming, machine learning, AI and stuff but the downside was that this is only a master's project and not a PhD one so I had to give it some thought and in the end I decided to go with this master's offer because of a few reasons so one the main reason is that this project um, perfectly aligns with what I wanted to learn which is you know bioinformatics stuff, AI stuff, programming stuff and whatnot so that's that Two is because I get to start immediately after my internship and there's no time being wasted because I could join the October intake. But truth to be told, um, I wish that I had more time back then to think about this decision, to think about the offer. Because my decision back then to join this master's program was kind of rushed because I was you know, a little bit pressured by my supervisor to join the October intake to not miss on the um, courses that's being uh, scheduled for the semester. But I guess it's all right now. I'm doing fine, kinda, right now. So everything's okay. And three is that this project has a stipend or there's a grant behind it so that I could be paid with a stipend monthly. And also I don't have to pay for my tuition fees. So. Um, it kind of is helping lessen my financial burdens and all. So yeah, I went on with this offer in the end. So yeah, this is basically my major updates two years after my graduation. I've done a three month internship in a pharmaceutical company. And also I'm now doing my master's um, still in UM, still in faculty of medicine. And yeah, I'm still in the field of biological science as well to pursue my further studies, but I'm pivoting more into a bioinformatics direction rather than a lab-based or you know biological based study and I would say that 10% of my course mates also pursued further studies while the others like maybe 30 of them straight off went into work I'm not too sure about this but yeah it's the rough estimate right and there are pros and cons of 
both worlds and the obvious one would definitely be the pay yeah i would say that you'd probably earn more if you started you know working right after graduation and you are you know you went into industry you are climbing the corporate ladder and whatnot but i still need to clarify that there's some misconceptions that some people think that by furthering your studies you know going for your masters or phd would be a waste of time um, resource and energy but just to give you some perspective it's not necessarily a bad thing for you to further your studies because there are some benefits towards it like one you would get a postgraduate title after you've graduated either your masters or phd and yeah two like me i don't really have to pay for my um, tuition fees because I'm under the UM scholarship scheme which is UMSS but of course this is exclusively for you know UM uh, students but I would say maybe some other universities have them as well um, and three you maybe get a you'll maybe get a monthly stipend depending on what project you're working on and the grant as well a monthly stipend is basically like a monthly salary that you're being paid but I wouldn't say salary because it's not that high, right? One thing about this stipend is that it really depends on the project that you're in because different projects, they have acquired um, different grants and different amounts of grants as well and different fundings and all. So it's just like how different jobs give, you know, different amount of pay and the variation can be quite huge. And some people don't even get paid for pursuing their masters because of insufficient funds and whatnot. So that is something to be very wary of. Uh, you should really do your research on um, what this project is about, how much fun does this project has and whatnot. Okay, so I know all of you out there are very concerned about this career prospects in our field. But yeah, one thing to take note is that before we talk about all these finances, big disclaimer here is that everyone has their own perspective on what a good pay is all right so it's very subjective and it depends on your everyday lifestyle and i won't be disclosing the exact amount i get from my stipend for now maybe i'll sneak it into a future video so yeah remember to subscribe to not miss out on this you know sneaky information but for now if you ask me i'm living quite and you know just okay life because pursuing this masters is not too heavy of a burden as i don't have to pay for my tuition fees and also i get paid a monthly stipend and for now i'm able to live on my own means you know i could pay rent buy food all that without asking money from my parents but i have to say i'm not living like a very luxurious life so if you want me to start paying for you know monthly installments to buy a car or house or start a family yeah definitely i could not do that as of now but yeah i can get by if you get what i mean so moving forward from here i'm hoping to finish my masters say march next year as i'm considered quite behind it's actually going to be my fifth semester soon and it's considered like kind of late because usually people take like four semesters for a master's degree i'm sure you could relate if you have already started on your research project because you know things don't go smoothly and right now i'm just waiting for my publication i still have more data to be generated and whatnot so yeah it's kind of a downtime for me that's why i could have a little more time to make some of these videos for all of you so Mm, yeah, I still have some different ideas and videos that I want to create moving forward and there's this particular one that I'm very looking forward to but it will really need a lot of your support from all of you for it to happen. Now, I'm thinking of reconnecting with all my batchmates because everyone has already gone their separate ways after graduating and it has been two years. So I really like to catch up with them, you know, see where they are, what they're working as right now and yeah, just to get some little life updates from them. I think this will not only benefit me by catching up with my friends, but it will also help all of you as well by providing you with valuable insights into the diverse career prospects or paths available for a biomedical science graduate. Like I mentioned, I didn't have this kind of opportunity because I had no elder siblings to advise me or guide me. And planning out your future can be very stressful and overwhelming, I know because I have experienced it firsthand and that's why I hope to make it different for all of you by creating 
this kind of content. This way you can make more of an informed decision about your own future, knowing the potential career paths that you can go into and the realities of working in that field. So yeah, if you're interested to know more about my friends or even my seniors experience, do let me know in the comments down below and remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I really hope that this video could reach more students out there or more people trying to research what biomedical science is about and your support means a lot to me and until then, best of luck.